Hi everyone! Welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we explore the latest and greatest in tech solutions for your everyday needs. Today in this video, we are diving into a fascinating case study on expanding a PoE network in a large farm without the need for extensive cable running. Sounds intriguing, right? And we're excited to offer our viewers a free tech consultation. If you are planning a network expansion or have any tech-related questions, we'll love to help. Simply just click the link in the description box below to get the free consultation with one of our team experts. So let's get started. So let's dive into our case study. Meet farmer John. Now John runs a massive farm that needs to set up a reliable network across various locations. That's about 4.5 kilometers away from the main building, and requires extensive network coverage for security cameras, internet access in remote buildings, and monitoring equipment spread out over the farm. And this farm spans hundreds of acres with fields. Barns and office buildings. So running long cable everywhere isn't just impractical, and it's limited to the current setup because it's costly and time-consuming. So the challenge here is to extend the network to cover the entire farm efficiently and cost-effectively. So how do we get around this? Let's find out. So first, let's talk about the specific challenges we're facing here. Distance. The farm covers a vast area, up to 4.5 kilometers, so making it impractical to run along copper cables. Terrain. Now we have varied terrain, including fields, buildings, and trees, obstructing the rack cabling routes. And costs. The high costs associated with treading and laying cables across such a large area. So these challenges mean we need a different approach. So what's the solution? So the solution we propose involves using a combination of wireless network bridges, outdoor PoE switch, PoE camera, and SS points. Now this innovative method eliminates the need for extensive cabling, and it's both cost-effective and efficient. Now let's break down each component and its role in the setup. First, the wireless network bridges. They act as a wireless link between different parts of the farm and up to five kilometers. And by mounting them on a high point, now we can ensure a clear line of sight communication and eliminating the need for long cabling. And the outdoor PoE switch provide both power and data to outdoor devices like the camera and SS point, and simplifying the setup and reducing cable clutter. Plus, this here is IP67 waterproof rated, so it's perfect for outdoor environment. This is our bullet camera, and it can get power and data through one single Ethernet cable, making the installation easier and also crucial for security and monitoring. And the outdoor SS point extends Wi-Fi coverage across the farm and ensuring that even the most remote areas have internet access. So before the installation, it is essential to conduct a site survey to determine the optimal placement for each device. Let's see how it's done. We'll need to look for a high point to mount our wireless network bridges to ensure they have a clear line of sight with the other bridge. And for the PoE switch, we'll identify the central location where they can effectively distribute power and data to our camera and SS point. As you can see, we have three Ethernet cables, one for the network breaches, one for the SS point, and one for the bullet camera. Let's plug them in. And from our outdoor PoE switch, it'll give you another 100 meters distance to your connected device. First, let's connect it with our SS point. Here, this is the PoE port. Let's plug it in so we can extend our Wi-Fi coverage. Next, we have the bullet camera. I'm going to plug in the Ethernet cable. So now it's receiving the power and soon the data. 
Last but not least, our wireless network bridge. This is the PoE port. Make sure you plug it into the right one. And also you can add extra device if needed. This is the pairing button. By pressing this button, we can pair it up with the other bridge. At ease. there's no need for complicated configuration. And also, we have the indicated lights on the side, so we can check for the signal strength. And you can adjust the bridge as needed. Now I'm going to face it toward the other bridge in a clear line of sight. So coming over here, we're going to pretend we are at the main building. By doing the same thing, I'm going to plug in the short patch cord to the PoE port to power it up and also provide the data. And always remember to press the button. This is the PoE output port of the PoE injector. Then I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the LAN port to our router to provide internet access. And from the router, I will use another Ethernet cable to connect it to our network video recorder. So we can display the video feed. So now everything are connected. And finally, we should test to ensure everything is working smoothly. You can check the signal string, test the network, or look at the camera feed. So as you can see, now we are getting a live video feed from the bullet camera. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is absolutely a live video. So the whole connection is completed. So before we wrap up, here are some tips. For power consumption, make sure your PoE devices comply with appropriate PoE standards, like 802.3AF or 802.3AT, to avoid overloading your PoE switches. And also use weatherproof enclosure for all outdoor equipment to protect against the elements. And you should install a search protector to safeguard your network equipment from electrical searches. And if needed, you can consider using solar power for remote location to ensure continuous operations without relaying on long power cables. So there you have it folks, a cost-effective and efficient way to expand your PoE network across a large farm without running long cables. Now if you found this video helpful, Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Fast Cabling and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tech solutions. Now thank you very much for joining us and I'll see you in the next video.